All my life I dreamed of coming to America. Leaving my country was not easy. Living in life, settlement houses. They treated me well. I learned proper English. They helped me get a job. These people looked out for me. They seemed to be welcoming me to their society after I realized. Protection from this country is what these people were looking for. There is only bad shelter and poor sanitation. These effects got better, but still, I shared a bathroom with two other men in the same tenement. The only way to improve life here is to get a job and become part of the corrupt society, support political bosses. I was structured at any cost. Mm, morning, Billy. Morning, Mr. Lynch. Have a seat, wouldn't you like a drink with me? No, thank you, sir. Out of all the struggles given to you, the only pleasure I offer you, you deny it. Tell me why. I don't feel comfortable with drinking with a man I don't know. Is it my money that fears you? Or is it my millions? Or is it just that I'm a better man than you are? I'll let you know, Mr. Lynch. I'm doing fine. But if you weren't such a prick, people would like your company. I never imagined a day when my life would evolve around machines. There's this amazing invention that everyone is talking about. It seems to make steam and make a factory work. I have seen the city change. We went from messengers to having telegraphs, making communications from business employments down south. I don't have too much of my product transferred to the market. Steel and oil have become the leading companies in the States. Good day, sir. I'm Samuel Cook. Never seen you around here before. I'm just here for business. I'm just having a drink. I'm, I'm, guessing you, I'm guessing you went back by train. I'm guessing I'm going back. Train. It's faster transportation than a horse. What about Andrew Arnegy? I heard the man must be enjoying the pleasures of the world with his trust. I guess, my good sir. Taking the fact that the ride, uh, thanks to Seal, so I guess that my pun goes to Mr. Arnegy and J.P. Morgan, making it my light encounter. How about a business proposition? You know, whatever it's called. How about oil production of the food in the fo in the north? And I would like you to be a part of it. A business proposition? Yes, I know of the oil production of food in the north. I will gladly take a part of it. Whatever they're called. The populist party, you might say? Hey, Paul, you want to help? There's got to be food around here somewhere. Paul! Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? So cold, the Statue of Liberty trying to put a torch up her dress. Uh, Paul, why you gotta be such a sourpuss? Why did you be so happy? Look where we're at! Paul, because I know we're gonna get out of here. How do you know? Just trust me. Paul, what are we gonna do? I'm hungry. Just keep doing what you did yesterday. The trash. We ate everything. So let's go look for some food. Oh, hang on. Can you even read? Well, I learned a little bit in the settlement houses. What does it say then? Uh, I I want you to to work for me. We could get money for food. I've heard kids who died in the factories. I don't want us to be the next kids who die. But I'm hungry. We'll find another way for getting food. How? If we don't have a job, we don't have no food! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is Roosevelt spelled with one O? Or with two? One O, smart one. Shut up, you don't even know how to write. So? What are you doing, partner? Let's go! So, Tom, what are we supposed to do? Well, I'm gonna go inside and vote, alright? You stay out here and you hold my stuff. Okie dokie, Tom! Alright! Barney 
Jerry, my stuff's still down the floor. Give me my razor. Doesn't matter. Alright, we'll go back in and boat, alright? Don't get in trouble. What's your name, poor soul? I'm Alexander Boykin. Why are you sad, Mr. Boykin? Has the world given up on you? Why are you so interested in me, sir? Do you look at me and want to mock me, Sir Jacob? If you do, I kindly ask you to let me be. Oh no, on the contrary. I would like to look at your daily struggle. May, I, may you take me with you to go see. Very well. Follow me, and I'll show you what the city has done for me. Alexander, what has happened here? We once had a business here in the colonies, but a man by the name of John Rockefeller destroyed our business and destroyed every single other oil company by this machine that was unstoppable. People are going to know about this. I want the world to realize what you poor souls have been through. <laughs>